Okay, how's it going, everybody? How's it going, Glenn? Eric, I was looking at this uh, wind turbine that I had been playing around with, and it didn't work very well for air. But that doesn't mean it won't for water. Okay. I was trying to come up with something that would be quiet and that would work uh, in a rooftop device for as a wind turbine. Okay. And something that could be 3D printed. So it had to be small enough to uh, be printed with a standard 3D printer. So what are the dimensions of this turbine? Well, it's about, it's less than nine inches total length from here to here, but that's both sides. That's the male and the female portion. Okay. okay. If you look over here, you can see that I did the, uh, I did, I had to do it in two pieces in order to fit the printer. I see. So there's a male portion and then there's a female portion. And I'll show you those here in a second. Let me get my, uh, let me get my 3D tool app up and I can show it to you and how they glue together. Okay. Basically, you just stick them together with super glue. And uh, okay, I'm going to Okay, I'm going to share this one with you now. Can you see this, the rendered one? Yes. All right, so this is the male portion. It's got these little fingers on it, you see, that, that, that are going to fit into the slots in the female portion. Right. And uh, basically, there's just a hole in the middle of it. And then there's a thing on the end that's uh, it's got a, a, a spot here that would turn some sort of a drive gear, okay? So the shaft would go through, the thing would rotate around the shaft, but there'd be a wheel on here, maybe a, a sprocket for a chain. I don't know, I, I haven't got the, I haven't got the thing figured out yet, but so the idea behind it, so you originally intended for it to be used with uh, wind. You said you were going to prop it up on your roof or where at? Well, I had some different concepts, but it didn't work out very well okay. for, for, for wind. But I don't see any reason why it wouldn't for water. Water has a lot more force. And if you could build up a box. Well, let, let me let me let me pop this other one open. Here's the. Uh, Here's the full-sized one. Here's here's the two. Here's the male and the female glued together. I see. And you, can you imagine having a box? <clears throat> this thing was encased in, where the bottom side of the box was a tray through which water could flow, and only a to hit the bottom part of the of the blade okay so it's not fully submerged you, it's not fully submerged it's only partially submerged i don't know whether you'd make it out of aircrete so that it would float at a certain level okay so so you'd hook this up to a drive shaft and it would uh you know running water would go through it not fully submerged and it would rotate it and it would probably be hooked up to some sort of energy capturing device, some sort of generator to store it. Yeah. You know how, you know how that guy uh, cannibalizes those uh, hoverboards and he yeah. takes the drive motors of those hoverboards and he repurposes them as, as generators. Right. Well, you know, you can buy a hoverboard for less than a hundred bucks and then you get two of those things with it. Imagine a sprocket that was attached to this figure right here, to this okay. part right here. And then, of course, the shaft that goes through is what it revolves on. But then if you put a sprocket on this, on this portion right here that drove a chain drive or, or whatever it took to, <clears throat> to keep, to, you know, you want your, you'd want your electrical part of this to be up away from the water far enough to, 
to where the splashing would not affect it? I don't know. I, you know, we should probably challenge our viewers. Yeah, if any of you have any ideas, any of you watching, I'd like to hear. Uh, maybe some of you do uh, some 3D printing yourselves. If you have feedback, I'm curious. Um, do you happen to have any portion of this 3D printed already? Yep. But okay. not with me. Not not right in the house. I'd have to okay. go out to the truck and get it. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's only about nine inches long. Uh and it's, you know, it's only about six inches. Uh, it'll fit inside of a six inch pipe. But you don't want to do that. You want what you want to do is you want to have some sort of a semi submersible sled that floats in the water and funnels water right at the bottom part of this blade. And then just gets shoved through until the next one comes down and gets shoved through. I don't know what kind of efficiency you're talking about, but if you put something in front of the sled, some sort of a screen that, that kept debris from coming in and catching, uh -huh. you'd have to have some sort of a, a mesh that, that, that took away larger debris and, and diverted it off to the sides. So if there's something floating on the surface of the water that could potentially jump up, jam up the works. Okay. You'd want that to just pass underneath. Yeah. Maybe some sort of uh, mesh or like some, some alleys to catch it and divert the water. Something, Somewhere. something to keep any debris from, to deflect any debris from getting into the, the tray portion of the sled. I think I'm going to work on this a little bit and see if I can come up with something that, you know, might make some sense. Okay. Yeah. And this is actually on our site too. Uh, I'll link that down in the description so you could check it out uh, and, and look at it for yourself. Uh, I'll also link the 3d viewer tool that we're using to view these files and it's free uh, and it does a whole lot for, for uh, being a free app. It's, it's pretty great. Yeah. And, and we should also say that these people, the 3D tool people, they, they give away their free app because they expect a, a certain percentage of people to, to want the more expensive one, which is only, you know, peanuts anyway. But uh -huh. uh, essentially, it's a lost leader for them to give away the free app. So some people are going to buy, you know, the more robust version. And we really appreciate the fact that they do give away the free app because uh, it's wonderful for mm -hmm. those who just want to check things out. All right. Well, do you have anything else about the, uh, uh, the turbine to say before we wrap it up? No, but I, I really I'm, I'm really interested in, in what sort of responses we might possibly get. Yes. You never know who's out there. Yeah, so please leave your feedback down in the comments below, everybody. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.